All right, welcome back to another awesome tutorial where I'm going to be teaching you how to do linking. So this is an example of what I'm going to show you today. How to link an object to a character's hand and have it follow. Because you don't want to set a keyframe on, on the object and you know try to track it on your character's hand. So the very easy way to do it is add a link constraint from the object to the character's hand. So this is what I'm going to be showing you today how to link a ball to the character's hand and throw it up in the air which is very easy let's get started so this is what i have so far right now this is what you guys need to do as an example i have the character's hand already animated without the link so this is what i have character tries to grab the ball and he throws it up in the air and catches it and it's just looping so grab the ball throw it up catch it very easy all we need to do is you need an object and you need the, the control of the character that's going to be linked to so in this case we're going to link it to his hand and that's the, the control for the hand so that's what I'm going to be using you can see down here all my keyframes for the hand animation and I also have finger animation which are on these guys you can see them here right and all the keys for my fingers are in the same spot as the keyframes for the wrist all right so nothing tricky there so once you get it you know you're going to be celebrating cuz this tutorial is pretty cool so this is going to be link constraint make sure you go under your animation tools here your shelf so check animation this way you get your constraint drop down menu here and you're going to see parent so let's go to the little option box here on the right and then just do edit and then reset settings just to make sure that you have the same settings that i have now one of the main important things to check off here or to make sure it has it on is this maintain offset make sure that's checked on and then make sure translate is checked to all and then rotate is checked on and then weight is set to one and then you're gonna hit well nothing yet right now I'm just making sure you have the same settings alright this way it'll when you link it it'll rotate and it'll translate with the hand that's why you want to make sure you have that and then the weight means that it's attached to it so what I'm going to show you right now is let's go to your uh, your wrist control now let's go to a frame where the hand is on top of the ball right so if I go here I know that at frame 15 you have to have a contact pose where the object is in contact with the hand so I know at frame 15 that's where it is so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna link both of these now first select the wrist or what's called the parent and then you're gonna select the child but before you select the child make sure you're holding down shift and then click the object this way you have both of them selected and by selecting the wrist first it knows that this is going to be the leader and this object is going to be the follower so then now what we can do is go up to constraint and then we're just going to click parent and that's it and now what we can see here is that the ball is actually following the hand but it's following it since the beginning you know from frame 0 which we don't want so what we need to do is go back to frame 15 where the ball was in the on the table and what we need to do is just hit S on your keyboard or set a key to tell the program where the ball should be which should be on the table so let's hit S now we have a keyframe and if we look to your right you can see that this change colors when it turns green it means you have something attached to it in this case we have the parent constraint 
and now we have a new uh, channel down here it says blend parent this means when it's on or off or when it's following and when it's not following your arm so right now we have it set zero which means it's not gonna follow so if we play the animation you can actually see it's not following it right that's what you want now we need to move to frame um, actually at 15 I wanted to to actually link it so if I go back one frame 14 I'm gonna set another keyframe so from 0 to 14 nothing is gonna happen at frame 15 that's when it's gonna link to it so what I can do now is go to blend parent and I'm gonna turn it on the way you turn it on is you hit 1 now this means it's I'm gonna just key select it just to make sure go back to 14 it should be at 0 go back to 15 it should say 1 which means now it's linked so let's rewind this and check this out and there you go right let's play this now you can see we haven't let it go again we haven't unlinked it so that's why it's still st stuck to his hand but moving along moving along okay now we need to tell it how long is it going to be attached to his hand so we can see at 15 is attached to his hand still attached still attached when is the last time that it's going to be on his hand so somewhere here is when it's still going to be attached to his hand so I'd say maybe let me check his wrist control at 31 okay so let's go back one at 30 select the ball at 30 it's gonna be the last time that it's gonna be linked or parent to his hand right so let's just copy this 15 I'm gonna do a copy and at 30 I'm gonna paste it So now you can see it's crapping out. Let me check my graph editor. And if you get that sometimes, you know, you can come over here and go to your blend parent. Now this should be a straight line right here, but you can see I'm having this weird curve like that. And it shouldn't be like that. It should be straight. So make sure you select this uh flat flat tangents this way it, it doesn't change it's always linked because right now I'm on the blend parent it should be linked and steady at one see it says one that value should never change so I don't know sometimes you'll get that so make sure you understand your graph editor so now from here to here the blend should not or your I should say your your weight should be at one from 15 to 30 okay still attached still attached now if I come here I'm gonna copy this one copy and paste at 31 frame 31 but this time when I paste it I'm gonna come over here to my blend and I'm gonna turn it off right turn it off Well, let me do it again copy paste blend should be it off well, okay it doesn't bother me but now what we need to do is we're gonna come up here to the ball and we're gonna move it up to where it should be and I'm gonna set a key on that so now it's unlinked 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 frame 15 it's linked and it continues to be linked all the way up to frame 30 and at 31 we told it to unlink right and then you can see here it's just it continues to be unlinked so then from here let's select our wrist 
at frame 47 he's gonna catch it again right so somewhere down the middle in between frame 31 and 47 I'll say frame 40 the ball is gonna be up in the air maybe somewhere here I'm gonna set a keyframe on that right so it goes up okay and then at frame 47 that's when he's gonna catch it so let's go back to the ball remember frame 47 let's go back to frame 30 which we can see here it's already uh, weighted at 1 or it's parented to the hand so let's just copy this and go to 47 and paste it and then now it's linked to his hand so what happened here is at 31 is unlinked and then we animated it to go up we set a keyframe at 40 to go up and then it's gonna go back down because at frame 47 we told it to link back to the hand right that's how it should be so now if I hit play rewind it and hit play let's see what happens it grabs it throws it up and catches it and that's what we want right now you can see in the beginning here when he lets it go it has to move uh, slightly up already so you can just he has a little throw you can probably push it up a little more so he's really throwing it right and then maybe at 40 frame 40 um, let's say he's he's pushing it a little higher let's try that again and there we go that's how you link it very easy you just have to know when the character is holding onto the ball how long he's holding it for and then when to turn it off and when to turn it back on so that's it again just so you understand it select the object right from frame 0 to frame 14 it's not linked you can see here it's at 0 and then at frame 15 boom that's when he grabs onto it so we turned it on it's at 1 and then we move forward all the way up to frame 30 it's still being held on because from here to here we need all this to be we need the ball to be on his hand right so then at frame 31 we turn it off because that's when it's going up into the air so you can see here blend parent is to zero and then we need to animate the ball because you know the ball doesn't know where to go so at frame 40 we moved it up and then we set a keyframe right and then it's gonna come back down and it's gonna link to his hand so at we move forward frame 47 we copied uh, frame 30 because that's when it was linked to his hand so we just copy and paste you can see here it's parented to the hand so whatever the hand does you can see that little movement there it's linked to it so that's it short uh, tutorial on how to link constrain objects to the hand which you can use this for anything that you want you know like linking a sword to the character's hand uh, linking a gun, linking a cup. Let's say he's picking up a cup, a marker. I don't know what he's doing, but that's it. Once you get it, you're going to be happy. Because you know how to link an object to the character's hand. So again, rate, subscribe, like, comment, click. Um, I don't know. See you later.